Fiona. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing today? Um, doing okay, I guess. Like, I've been working a lot, so I'm feeling really stressed. Oh, that's really tough, yeah. It's being stressed. What do you do? Um, I'm a waitress, and I do some real estate oh, okay. on the side. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, um, I want to tell you a little bit about, um, you know, um, Georgia Hope is that we're a mental health um, agency, and um, and we we also do substance abuse. And so today we're going to talk a little bit about um, why you're here, and um, find out you know what's going on with you and what's really stressing you out, and see what we can do to help you. So um, first thing I want to do is talk to you about um, confidentiality. So. What you say in here stays in here. Um, it's confidential. You know, I don't go out and tell anybody about what we've talked about. But I, I will like have to um, report if you are in like danger of hurting yourself or someone else. I will have to report that. Um, or if there's um, danger of somebody else that. Um, family member, elderly person, any anybody that you're talking about, a family member, that's another reason why I'd have to report. So um, I just want to make sure that you understand that because it's really important. Yeah, I understand. Okay, thanks. Great. Um, today we're going to, like I said, we're going to talk about a little bit about get your story and, you know, I just want to get some information. So um, this is kind of a um, assessing what your needs are and, and what your strengths are and we're going to um, complete um, an echo map today and um, it just kind of talks about your strengths and some and some needs and kind of where your resources and and um, people and things in your life that help you or may not help you so um, but anyway tell me a little bit why you're here well I'm the oldest, I'm um, 28 years old, and I have like five siblings. And I, well, my mom left when I was 16. She mm -hmm. walked out, and my dad, he just is an alcoholic, and he doesn't really help. So I feel like I have a lot of pressure on me, and I think it has to do a lot with my parents, you know, not really being there. So I feel really stressed, and I'm like having to pay all the bills, and I just don't really have any support enough. Why, why, I mean, that must be really hard. It sounds like they're, you're really stressed out. And I, I hear that, you know, that you're um, having to work a lot and take care of your siblings. And you feel like your parents really haven't been there for you at all? No. Do you feel like you don't have any support? Well, I mean, me and my siblings get along, but I feel like I'm more of a mother figure for them because, I mean, even though my, our mom left, they don't really, I have to like be the mom for them. You know, I have to be strong for my siblings. Right. Um, so tell me about, um, how old are your siblings? Like what are, do you, um, are they younger? They're, they're all younger. Old, they're I'm the, the oldest. oldest. Okay. Um, there's like five of them. My sister, Debbie, she is a teenager. She's 15, and she just had a baby. So oh, we're having to deal with that. That's hard. So that that adds a whole another mm -hmm. level of stress. Are you having to help take care of the baby too? No, she's she's doing it all herself. Okay. Well, that's good. I that's said good. If you're gonna have sex with boys, you're gonna pay the consequences. Yeah, that's difficult. Um. So what what do you feel like you would like to get from services, you know, I was telling you a little bit about the mental health, you know, that we, um, for anxiety or, um, are you just wanting to get some, any resources or anything? Well, I've been making a lot of bad choices and I've, you know, I mean, I've been married, I've had exes and, I mean, I feel like I'm going to them, you know, and then I need help with making choice, making better choices and especially when I drink and smoke marijuana I make really bad decisions yeah so how often do you um, drink and smoke if that 
Do not too like, often, but sometimes my neighbor, my best friend, we um, will go out to the club together. Do you feel like you have a problem with those, or do you feel like that's something that you need help with to um, maybe better manage it? Um, I don't feel like I have to have those things, but I just feel so stressed from being the provider that it just makes me relax. So what I'm hearing is that you're using alcohol and marijuana to possibly um, help you deal with the stress. So you're using yeah. it like, as a, is that what you consider your coping mechanism? You know, yeah. like how you cope with, with the hard stuff? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I would love to like start if you're okay with doing this um, echo map. It's a, it's basically, um, you know, we're going to draw it out and um, and it will be a visual for us to see what is, you know, what are resources and what are things that are healthy needs, um, healthy good things in your life and and things that may be a need that you need help with. So. Um, the first thing that we do is you are going to be the center of attention. So, Fiona. Is that how I s is that correct? F-I-O-N-A. I'm so sorry. F-I, not F-E. Okay, so Fiona, you are going to be the center. So... The other circles around us were, you know, you can put it anywhere, the other circles here, anywhere on the page, um, uh, that would be relation to you. So, um, who is somebody maybe in your life that um, you would want to put, like a person maybe in your life, either a support or somebody that, um, that you know, that you have a relationship with, but it can be good or bad. Yeah. Yeah, whatever like I can I put them on there? You can you can put anybody you want on here that's part of you know what's going on with you. I'll put um Frank. Okay. He's um my father. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay, your dad. So you call him Frank. You, mm -hmm. you... Yeah, I just call him Frank because okay. he's not really been a good father, so I'll just call him Frank. Okay. So where would you put that? Where would you put him? Um probably like over here. Okay. And you're putting him over here because, I mean, like, further away from you. Yeah, because he, he doesn't step up as a dad, and he's just off getting drunk, and sometimes we don't know if he's coming home or not, so we don't really depend on him. Right. So what we do then is, so you want me to put um, dad or Frank in the circle? Frank. Frank. Okay. So... What we're going to do now is um, he's here and you're here, so we want to link the two of you um, to see what the connection is, whether it's strong or you no, know weak strong. or not. Um, so we're going to do a. I'm not sure I can see that. My watch has a life of its own sometimes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> it goes to nine. Um, so we're going to do a, would you say that it's very stressful or would you say it's like a very weak, broken relationship? I think it's broken. Um, not really stressful. It's just kind of like, okay. So we're going to do a dotted line because the dotted line is broken yeah. and it's not really connected like, um, you know, a better relationship is. So we're going to use a dotted line to connect you with Frank. Um, so then we want to give the give and take the arrows in this will be um, who gives who. So it's a back and forth. So do you feel like um, there is there any connection of a give and take of, of input like a um, your relationship of what you're giving to him or what he's giving you or well I mean I pay the bills. Sometimes he stays there, so it's like. So, do you feel like you're giving more than yeah. he is? So, is it? Would you Only say? Only when I that, have to give to him. So, are you saying that does he do anything for you? Does no. he? No. Okay. 
Okay, so would you say that the era that you're putting more um, energy and more into the relationship than he Kinda. is? Kind of. I mean, I don't really try to, like, unless I have to, you know. So, but it's stressful yeah. when you have to. Yeah. So, so we're going to put the arrow that you're is broken and that you're putting, you're giving to him, but you're feel you feel like you're not getting anything in return from mm-hmm. him. Okay. Okay. So, um, anyone else? Uh, Monica. Monica. Who is Monica? Uh, she's technically my mom, but she left when I was sixteen. Um, so, and you, so you don't call her mom. You call her Monica? Yeah. Okay. So, where would you want to put her? Like, way over here. Way over here. Okay. And you want me to put Monica? Monica. Okay. Yeah, I feel really bad because, I mean, all my siblings, I don't really care about my relationship with her, but they, I feel bad because they don't have her and they, like, whenever they see her, they want a relationship with her. And I don't want them to have one because, you know, that's really bad for us. That sounds really difficult. And you sound like, do you have um, anger towards her? Oh, yeah. I have anger um, towards her. I don't want her around. Okay. But your siblings want to be around her? The, young, the younger ones do not um, feel that really. Um, Does she have the relationship with her? Recently, she's been trying to um, reconnect with us, but I don't, I mean, she's doing drugs, and I don't really think she's good for them. Okay. So I don't want her in our lives. Okay. Um, So how would you connect yourself to her? Do I have to connect? Um, No, you do not. You do not. Is it, it, I mean, mean, you know, we, we have the broken where you're doing this, but... If you feel like there's no connection here, you can leave her right here. You can put those even with the broken because sometimes I have to interact with her. So okay. that's um, or is it stressful? Because stressful would be a um, kind of a line like this, like yeah, it's stressful. Scary. Okay, mm-hmm. so that's more of a jig jaggedy line. It also can be you could use both lines. You could yeah, use I broken. Think we need it um, stressful so, with Frank too. Okay. So we will, oh my God, we, my, my lines here are <laughs> not the best, but, um, so is there an arrow, how, how would you do the arrow going, um, is it kind of like, I mean, we interact with Frank more, because he's around more, Monica just not really there, but unless she comes to town, so I don't really know what, I don't really do anything for her. She doesn't do anything for me. Okay. So you feel like it's just stressful and there's no really give and take. It's just she's kind of there. Yep. Okay. Um, is there any thing, can you give me a, um, about a resource or a, um, something that's a helpful um, resource or a person or anybody in your life that, you know, or any place. Um, it could be school, church, work, um, a um, person. Probably um, whenever I'm feeling stressed, I go over to my friend, um, Veronica's. Veronica. So where would Veronica be on this? Really close. Or really like, close. Yeah. So you like, like we're really close right to here. each other. Okay. So we'll put Veronica. That's good that you have a really close friend. She's your best friend? Yes. Okay. Good. Is she um, somebody, she, you said that you go over to her house, so you feel really, do you feel safe there? Or is it an outlet for you? Yeah. What kind of mm-hmm. thing. Um, is that... You were talking about earlier about drinking and, and smoking marijuana. Is she somebody that you um, do that with? or? Well, or she wants me to, whenever we go somewhere, not at her, her house, but if we go to a club, um, she'll encourage me to have fun. Um, but she, I mean, other than that, she's positive. Like 
she's a positive. She is she is somebody that um, she she doesn't like make me. So um, so would you say that's a very strong? Yes. So we'll put like two lines, two two strong lines, and kind of color them in. And would you say that's a give and take? Yes. Uh, both both ways. So we'll put that. So this gives you kind of a, a really good idea of um, what's going on. And it sounds like you've had a lot of things go on in your life that have been really hard, you know. Um, yeah, I could add some X's to that list. I mean, to that. To that list. X's. So, yeah, so we will continue doing this. And um, we'll just finish up. 